Hello gorgeous ones, Dr. Lucy this morning. Um, Dr. Mary is actually doing a locum, another locum. So she did her one in Tassie and now she's on her way down the bottom of the surf coast of Victoria. So she's in the car driving, driving, driving. And I'm in my bathroom, which most of you have not seen. I know you've seen lots of my houses, but this is my, and you can't see quite out there, but I have the most glorious view out my bathroom window. So every time I open the bathroom door in the morning, that's the first thing I see. So it is a great way, I've got to say, to start my morning. Today, I want to talk about being frightened. And it is okay. I think that Australia, you know, the last 48 hours, it seems that, you know, it's all gone a bit nuts with COVID popping up everywhere. And now people being scared of either COVID, of vaccinations, of losing their holidays, of being locked down. And all of those feelings are completely normal. As humans, we don't like uncertainty and we don't like threats. It's normal to feel uncomfortable with these. Now, what's ha what has been happening, this is my experience over the last 18 months, is that when people feel frightened, they eat. And, oh, I've got another one of those crazy pop-ups that's telling me to go to work. Um, because feeling frightened is an uncomfortable emotion. And whether it's frightened or frustrated or annoyed or angry or sad that you've lost your holiday or that you're, and particularly for parents of young kids, your school holidays are stuck in lockdown or whatever, these are all the normal range of human emotions. Sorry, it's a bit Blair Witchy. There we go, that's better. So what I would say to you is that notice them. And when you feel them, you can say to yourself that you are training for discomfort because the better we get at sitting with these uncomfortable emotions, the less power they have over us. Because our brain so cleverly says, oh yeah, I remember this feeling. It's I'm a bit frightened or I'm a bit scared or I'm a bit angry. It will go away because they all do. You don't, nobody is angry for like 24 seven for the rest of their life. It does go away. It's just that sometimes we try and force it away. So our little analogy for that is the idea that if you're holding onto a beach ball, if you're standing in a pool and you're holding onto a beach ball, you can hold it at the surface quite lightly. Okay, so that, that beach ball represents uncomfortable feelings. But when you try and hold them down, oh my God, can you see my cat? There's always a cat in my life. When you try and hold them down, stuff them down with food or alcohol, then it's you're holding tightly. It takes a lot of effort to do that. So we have to keep stuffing them down. So we keep eating, we keep drinking. And then one day when we're not watching, they just pop up. So learn, learning to sit with them and recognizing that these are just uncomfortable feelings they are the normal human experience. It will settle, it will go, and training for discomfort is the key. <laughs> All right, my lovelies. Myself and the cat are going. I've got, I'm off to work. Um, I've just got to do my hair because I've just got out of the shower, as you can see. Uh, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Understand it is a difficult time for, for many of us. And for those of us that are not in lockdown, like Melbourne, we are, I think, really appreciative now of our freedoms and recognizing that sometimes you have to do hard things to get your freedoms back. Have a wonderful day, lovelies. Bye now.